Welcome to another edition on Manchester Reunited, your Manchester United fan page where we get to talk about news, transfers, in-depth analysis and everything Manchester United. The show is brought to you by Intimate Essentials, Jay Walker Clothing and Tillane Facebeat. My name is Nanapoko Hitfield. You can simply call me Venom. Before we start, hit the subscribe button and please turn on the bell icon to get notified with more staffs from Manchester United on this channel. Today on uh, Legend Foul, we'll be profiling a Manchester United longest serving captain. And he's no other than the Captain Marvel himself, Brian Robson. For most of us young fans, we've heard about him, but we've never had the privilege of watching him play. So I am extremely honored today to talk about his stats and educate ourselves on his achievement at Manchester United. Brian Robson was born on 11 January 1957. As we know, he was a midfielder during his playing days. Now, Brian Robson made 461 appearances for Manchester United. He scored 99 goals. He won two Premier League titles, three FA Cups, two Charity Shields, or now we call it the Community Shield, and an European Cup Winners Cup. New manager Ron Atkinson bought Brian Robson for a British record fee of £1.5 million on 1st October 1981 from West Bromwich Albion. Robson told reporters at that time, and I quote, Money wasn't my motivation. I simply wanted to be a winner. His first appearance for United came in the 1 0 defeat against Tottenham in the League Cup. He wore the number seven shirt for most of his career at Man United. Brian Robson was a well rounded box to box midfielder and also had a good goal scoring record. He had terrific anticipation, movement, and his timing on and off the ball was unique. He was quick, fiercely competitive, and brave. He possessed high levels of stamina and tackled and passed the ball also well. Manchester United had not won the league for a while, and after 26 years, Steve Bruce, together with Brian Robson, lifted the Premier League trophy in the 1992-1993 season. They didn't have to wait long though because they won the Premier League the following season as well. Between 1994 and 1996, he also served as an assistant coach to England manager Terry Venables, which included the Euro 96. He later returned to West Bromwich Albion for two years as a manager helping them to become the first top division side to escape relegation after being bottom of the league on Christmas Day. He was inducted to the English Football Hall of Fame in 2002 in recognition of his impact on the English game as a player. He was named as one of West Bromwich Albion's 16 greatest players ever in a poll in 2004 organized as part of the class 125th anniversary celebrations. He also had short spells as a manager at Bradford City and Sheffield United. In 2009, he was appointed manager of the Thailand national team. In 2011, he was voted as the greatest ever Manchester United player in a poll of the club's former players as part of the book label 19th which was released to celebrate the club's record-breaking 19th title. And on 1st August 2011, Brian Robson was appointed Global Ambassador at Manchester United and he still occupies that role. So there you have it. I have enjoyed this edition of the show. We will be celebrating our legends from time to time. I'm going to have a Manchester United fan right here and uh, he's going to share his or her comments about what is happening around Manchester United. Now join the Manchester United WhatsApp group via the link in the description below so that we can continue and you guys can give me suggestions on the next legend I should be profiling on the show. And as always, this show is brought to you by Intimate Essentials, J Walker Designs, and Tillen Face Beat. See you another time for more exciting starts and news about our darling club Manchester United. Glory, glory, my United.